Hello guys, I'm just gonna show you how to code in BMW uh, using Hotel. I have shown you on a few different other videos, but I'm gonna just reshow you again on this. So once you've paired up to the vehicle, I mean, you know what? We could just, let's say, start again. If you go onto homepage, you click on that. Once you're on this, you click on that and then pair it up using the VIN chassis or select the vehicle manually. Once you're on this, you go into programming um, these are just telling us the ins and outs, so we'll click OK. And these are the things you need. As said, look, there you are. I've paired everything up. I have got other videos on how to connect all these up, so you can certainly um, please make sure Wi Fi is off. Wi Fi off. Okay, so just gonna let this pair up. It will take a good few minutes at least. Um, well, Realistically, this should do it, should nail it. Because right now, the issue we have with this vehicle, just so you know, if I go on to, because a new iDrive has been put into this, and as you can see, there's hardly any menu. Um, nothing, absolutely nothing works. Um, vehicle information, there is vehicle status. There's absolutely nothing. There is no communication. So what we're going to do is code in the iDrive, the cluster, and these entertainment bits here as well as well as this little con it will come up as con which is the control um so we'll pair everything up and uh, hopefully see what happens after but this is the uh, procedure i'm doing now so here it is telling us this we'll just hit okay it's gonna go through the modules Telling me where any control units replace. I'm just going to say no in this case, so we can go into the full setting. Here we are. This is the full setting. We can do programming and coding. However, I'm just uh, going to do coding for now because I'm not going to mess around with the programming because it's going to take a long time unless it requires it afterwards, which we'll find out. So it's telling us about control module needs coding. It already highlights what needs coding. Head unit. It's already highlighted it. There you are. Um, the con controller, I am going to do that as well, so everything pairs up nicely. So, literally going to take two minutes overall. I need to connect to the Wi-Fi, so I'm going to share my personal hotspot with this, and it should cure it. So, I'm going to turn the video off and then on afterwards. So, here we go. It's going to turn the Wi-Fi on. And so, it should be connecting. I've got four or five bars on there, so it is using my own personal internet. So it may take a bit, but if you're using the Wi-Fi, it should literally do it within two, three seconds. So that has done it. Now we're going to turn the Wi-Fi off. Well, it should automatically switch it off itself. So, yep, normal complete. Earthen the cable. Okay, it's going to tell us to turn the vehicle off as well. Because it's running 15 volts, as you can see. So turn the engine off. There you go. Okay. It's roughly 12 volts, which is good. It's going to do it. And this should play up in a second as well. So it is trying to code it in. Still not. It's, it's going to be. Well, that says coded. Wait for these two. The iDrive has switched itself off automatically and turned itself back on. I haven't done anything to this. So it's bringing in warning now, as you can see. So look at all the menus we've got, which is good news. I'm just going to let it do everything and then I'm going to start um, going on to the um, settings in a bit. So it's coded everything in, switched everything off itself. I'm um, not bothered about the battery as of yet because it's, it's not the battery that caused it to turn off. It's actually this doing a full shutdown power command. There you go, all back on. 
battery. And now I'm just going to show you. So yeah, everything kind of paired up now to the vehicle. It's bringing warning. Like before, it wasn't bringing any of these warning. Um, so if we go back, as you can see, we've got the full setting here. Um, okay, so it's deleting the fault memory. And if I just um, turn it on. Um, here we go, into setting. Yeah, we've got everything really. Uh, before we didn't have any of them as you, as you can, multimedia, external devices. So yeah, Bluetooth connection now is there. Radio, it'll be there as well. So yeah, it's all good news. Doing a full scan and clear. Um, all done. Okay, he's gonna do a vehicle update and jobs are good and really. Yep.